Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 28 of Darwell20's Omnifactory Let's Play series, where today I've made some machines. I made a bunch of things between episodes, as usual. This is a series where I've been doing a lot of between episode work, uh, because there's a lot of infrastructure needed for the things that we're making, and a lot of them are the machines we've already made, but they need to have specific purposes. So automation is huge in this pack, so I'm really working towards getting a lot of it. So two things I did between episodes. One is I got everything for what I think will be required to make the polychloride bars in much the same way we were doing polyethylene before with the exporting of a few things and making sure everything's going smoothly. Um, so that's kind of the hope, right? So like this whole setup, right? So uh, last episode, I think we wrapped up where we were piping sulfuric acid into things over here for this guy. Now I've got a few more machines for basic electrolyzing, uh, chemical reacting, and another chemical reactor. Cool. So here's what we're going to do. You ready? So the basic electrolyzer needs to make chlorine, right? That's going to make chlorine using either rock salt or salt. So we can go upstairs and see where we're at with that. I've been pulverizing some of the salt that I found uh, in my in my miner chest. So they can't be that rare because I already had some, right? So if we look at salt, right, we can snag that. And we've got a bunch of, uh, we've got some rock salt and salt that we've gotten and impure versions of the same, right, that we can centrifuge up. So for now, what I'm going to do is something a little different than what I've been doing so far. I'm going to keep you in stock like that. And then we're going to, because the salt actually turns into something. And we have to be aware of that. Because if we're not, then <laughs> item problems. It's the items back stuff rather than the fluids. And that's not at all what we want, right? So... That's why we're doing it this way, because we're going to put this dude in here and we're going to say extract on green, always active. And then the down is insert on green, extract on brown, always active. And you're inserting on brown. See, so now we're dumping all our salt in there. It's turning into chlorine, but it's also turning into sodium or something. I forget. Sodium dust. Right? And that's getting extracted and put back into the AE system. Cool? So that's step one. Right? So now that we've got chlorine, we need to combine you in a chemical reactor with not hydrogen. Whatever we need to get vinyl chloride. Ethylene. 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 Right? So we might need a fluid filter here, but where are we producing ethylene at? Here? Yeah. Now we want to make sure not to get diluted sulfuric acid. So are you set with a filter? No, but you are set with a fluid filter. So I should probably get an ethylene bucket and filter this dude, right? Does that sound like a smart time? I think it does. I think it does. We should have a fluid filter on there just to be safe, right dudes? And uh, I can't run anymore because I got hungry. Right? So you're going to insert on the same channel that you're extracting, which is purple. Okay, So I'm trying to um, double up some stuff. right? Uh, and then your filter is going to say ethylene, right? which is the vinyl chloride needs ethylene from Greg Tech. That's polyethylene. This is ethylene. Can this work or do I need to do the bucket one? I think I have to do the bucket one. Ethylene clay bucket should be fine. Probably. Right? So now if I connect you guys, boom. And you, by the way, do nothing, please, because I don't want you doing nothing. Cool. Uh, you should... Oh, right. I have to turn the insert on. So you should be getting ethylene. Beautiful. And now we want chlorine as well. So we're probably going to want to extract on purple. So you're extracting on purple. Are you inserting on purple? And you have a filter for oxygen and ethylene, right? So over here, we're going to want a similar filter. Uh, well, I don't know that we need a filter. You should be able to just extract on purple straight up. And all your chlorine should only go into here, right? Right, extract on purple. Oh, right, because I have to add chlorine to the whitelist here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, it's not going anywhere, so that's a good sign. 
So now you're allowed to get chlorine from this dude who's producing it. Cool? Cool. And that's going to get vinyl chloride and hydrochloric acid. Okay. Now, hydrochloric acid sounds like the type of thing we might want to hang on to. Doesn't it, though? Doesn't it, though? Doesn't it sound like the kind of thing we might want to hang on to? So what I think I'm going to do... Do those import buses have a filter? So I'm going to need a couple of these dudes. Are we low on aluminum already? Wow. I must have used a lot of aluminum. I must have used a lot of aluminum. Because I had smelted a lot between episodes, and I am shocked to find that we're actually lowish again on that stuff. Um, two electric pistons? All right. How about just one electric piston? What kind of buses we got handy? We've got an export bus for fluids. I would like another import bus at least. Oh, wow. You need to make more of these, which means more fluid dust. That needs charged, right? And redstone... And quartz. I think that'll make what I want, right? You are here? Yep. And then we can macerator you. One at least for now. Cool. And then also we needed a lapis block. I'm low on lapis. I know where some is, I just haven't really needed it yet. And then our cutting machine with water in it. And you might see some new machines over here as well. That'll get that plate, I think. I think. Isn't that how I got lapis plates? Cutting saw, lapis plate. That should be working. Oh, yes, I need power, don't I? Uh, that's LV cabling, so we don't want to use that. I had, I had rearranged stuff over there. I'm constantly rearranging. I'm sure at some point, once I wrap my head around everything that I actually need... I'm making ammonia right now, by the way. How are you doing? Good, I can get those in there. There you go. Thanks, buddy. So that should be cool for an import bus. Can I filter you? Import bus? I'm just curious, right? So you're doing a good job. Hydrochloric acid. So you can be filtered. Hydrochloric acid. I'm just saving it because it sounds like the type of thing that I might want to save. All right, so I probably need to actually get that bucket of hydrochloric acid and put that on here. And then I'm gonna want a 1K fluid cell and then we'll have it for when we need it. Now I need a housing, which should be easy enough to make. That should be pretty quick, to be fair. Come on, buddy. Crafting fine red alloy wire. Sweet. Okay. The other thing I want to do is get some of this impure pile of rock salt and throw that in a centrifuge down here, which I should have somewhere. There you are, centrifuge. And you're going to come over here and get programmed such that you're only allowed to have hydrochloric acid buckets. Cool, so now we've got hydrochloric acid being stored in our network as soon as we connect those dudes up, which I need conduits for. And don't forget, we also need cables because those ME fluid buses don't work with conduits. Cool, so boop and boop. Now I think the hydrochloric acid won't empty until the vinyl chloride empties. But that's okay, because we're about to send vinyl chloride into this guy. So we're gonna have to find a color channel that we haven't used yet. So how's uh, gray? Have we used gray anywhere on this line? We might have used, we used light gray. I don't think we used gray gray though. I just wanna make sure. All right, so let's put you as an extract gray always active right and vinyl chloride should be cool should i filter you to vinyl chloride probably let's get another filter bucket oh good you worked haha ah -ha. uh, filter
So you should only extract vinyl chloride on gray. And then you're gonna insert on gray. So vinyl chloride comes out, it goes into there, right? And that combines with oxygen to make polyvinyl chloride. Cool. So to get oxygen in there, we're going to need an export bus. A fluid export bus. Cool. And we're going to have to say, I need oxygen. So for that, I'm going to put you away for a minute and I'll explain what that's about. Uh, I should be able to do that. Yay. That terminal's working. Cool. And then we say, you export oxygen. Oxygen goes in. It chemical reactors itself together and uh, gets to work. How cool is that? Now you're going to make polyvinyl chloride, right? Which we need for those bars. Right? Uh, so it's one oxygen and some vinyl chloride. I need a program circuit of zero though. That might be my problem. I'm missing a circuit there. Give me one of those please, buddy. Salt can go away. You're gonna craft lickety split. And this is all for the sake of making those Sam thing, those those SDM dudes, right? So it was zero was the thing, right? So do you go in there and you start working now? Nice, cool. Now you, one of you, hang on, which one of you is my thing? Insert on light gray, right? Fluid solidifier. So what I'm gonna do is make extract on light gray active with signal. Okay, so when I need those, okay, I come over here with a lever and we can extract it. Does that sound like a cool plan for now? We may wanna just leave this running all the time, but remember we're like doubling up our usage of some stuff over here. So I might not wanna go too crazy. Let's just try that. And then you should be over here producing polyvinyl chloride sheets for me. That is awesome. That is cool. And hopefully you produce it in such a way that's not terribly inefficient. I do have two basic fluid solidifiers going on, which is probably a little bit of a problem, but it shouldn't be that bad of a problem. Right? Um, yeah, that's, that's going together pretty nicely. In fact, I might just want you on all the time because I think our problem is we're going to run out of vinyl chloride before we run out of anything else, right? Ethylene... Has to combine with chlorine. Why is sodium dust not being pulled out of here? Oh, you did that. I might need to filter that sodium dust is the only thing allowed in there. Or not allowed in there. Blacklist sodium dust going in. Does that sound fair? Because it went into the thing and it didn't get pulled out fast enough. So that was your problem. I haven't taught you iron yet, but I use it so infrequently. I think that's fair, right? So you with a wrench. Turn you off. And then we come over here and we say down has a filter on the insert which blacklists sodium. Cool, so you're not allowed to receive sodium, let's put it that way. Cool. Now, do we have any more salt handy? Or did we use it all already? We probably burned through it pretty quickly, to be fair. Um, so we could also throw rock salt in there. That's another thing we could do. 
we could say rock salt's also allowed. Where's my centrifuge? So whenever you run, you should produce another salt, right? So this guy should get a salt in a second, presumably. Yep, see? The thing is it's two salt per chlorine, which is kind of a bummer, um, but that's okay. And you can go away and that's pretty spiffy. Cool? So now we're doing all the things. Uh, we're producing polyvinyl chloride sheets. I should probably throw an import bus on you is what I should do. Did I make one of those? I made a fluid import bus and I made an export bus, but I don't have an import bus handy. But we should have enough aluminum now to make them. Import bus of normal items, please, with an MV this doohickey. Cool. So you can see automation coming together now, right? So we, we fully automated the polyvinyl stuff and we fully automated the polyethylene stuff, right? Uh, which is cool. Very cool, I think. So now you can come over here. Do you guys work on him? Nope. So you also need to be a cable. It's fine. You should be importing polyvinyl chlorides. Nice. How cool is that, dudes? Because I think that's super cool. And then when I want to also remember, I can... Um, this guy, should we should be export busing oxygen on as well. So if we wanted to, we could set that up. Should we set that up real quick? I don't see why not, right? You make that, and I'll manually make the fluid export formation core thing. We should have more fluid dust, right? Yep. Hey, where do my power go? Am I killing it on power over there or what? I might be. I might be I might be killing power. You guys have lava? You do. Do you have power? Nope. You're out of power as well. You guys are choking a little bit. It might be if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to say it probably is these guys being a problem. So I just added a whole bunch of like run all the time machines to this line. <laughs> it's probably struggling to keep up with the amount that I'm asking it to do. So maybe export busing oxygen over here ain't the best idea. I'm just saying. Yeah, he's struggling to maintain. Definitely struggling to maintain. It's kind of cool, though, the way it works. I think it, it gives power in the order of operation, right? So, like, the first machine it hits gets power. So the fact that we have the electrolyzer here first, he'll keep producing, you know, the salt, and then this guy will go, and then this guy will go, and it'll eventually run and do everything. So it's kind of neat. Kind of neat. And that guy's, not, that guy's stuck because the AA system's offline, remember? So we definitely need to, like, consider ramping stuff up. Um... Ways to solve this is, A, we need more power gen, which I'm hoping we're going to get to pretty soon. Uh, and B, we need more power storage. And C, we need thicker wires. Because from what I understand, each one of... So the 4X cable can do 4 amps, right? The 1X cable can do 1 amp. The 2X cable can do 2 amps. The 16X cable can do 16 amps. Each machine takes an amp. So that means realistically on a 4X cable, you can only run 4 machines at a time. Right? So we need to be aware of that. And I've got how many machines on that 4X cable downstairs? A lot. So it's something to keep our mind aware of. Um, I'm starting to get the hang of some of this Greg Tech stuff, though. It is fun. I just need to figure it all out. Hey, are you done with ammonia? Yay! Uh, I would really love you to have power, buddy. Are you guys done yet or what? Um... It doesn't help that I smelted all that aluminum either. That drains a big bunch of my power reserves. Um, do I have a tank in here? I do. So that should get me the ammonia. Boom. So between episodes, another thing I worked on were these three quests. Hypochlorous acid, methanol, and ammonia. And you can see it up here. Hypochlorous acid was a combination of chlorine, which we know how to make, obviously, water, simple, and mercury. Mercury is pretty easy. You get some cinnabar dust and you electrolyze it. That's it. And cinnabar comes from the cinnabar ore that we had. It also comes from redstone, FYI. Uh, so that was pretty straightforward. Methanol, also pretty straightforward. Um, what I did was chemical reacted um, 
oxygen plus carbon dust basically gives you carbon dioxide plus hydrogen gets you methanol. I just made the buckets to complete the quest because I have no idea what this stuff is used for. I'm sure it's used for something. Some of it I may need to have in mass quantities. Others I might not. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Um, and then this guy was fermented biomass. Fermented biomass comes from biomass in a fermenter, and biomass comes from any kind of sapling plus water in a brewing machine. Hence, uh, brewing machine, fermenter, and distillery. Cool? And that got me my ammonia bucket. For what purpose? I have no idea. We'll figure it out. Chloramine. Uh... Dimethyl, dimethylamine and hydrazine. I don't know what they're for, but I'm guessing we'll figure it out. The distillation tower makes me feel like I should be doing that pretty soon because I haven't done that one yet. I'd like to knock out these circuits as well now that we have a lot of this stuff fully automated. So plastic substrates are automated as are um, the polyvinyl chloride sheets, right? Fully automated at this point, relatively fully automated, right? Um, we don't have unlimited salt. But basically, like, I run salt through a processor and we get the stuff, right? Now, you should be pulling in hydrochloric acid, shouldn't you? Oh, right, you're out of power. I forgot. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. But once you're done processing all this backlog of stuff, uh, or at least you should backlog, and then you should fill up, and then everybody should be happy. Um, but really, the problem here is, is we don't have enough power. That, that's what it comes down to. We just don't have enough power. Um, to keep everything running all the time and make everybody happy. Like, you guys are struggling to run something. I don't know what. I have no idea what you're even trying to run. But something, apparently. So power production is rapidly becoming an issue for me. Um, I think what I'm going to do right now is just wait a few minutes. Um, because I don't think there's a lot running over here. Everything should be pretty much off. So I don't know what you're actually trying to run, buddy. Where's your energy going? I wouldn't imagine it's going over here, right? I mean, I have the rubber mallet. I can turn stuff off if I need to. Does that make you start getting power? I don't know. Something must be running. I don't think anything is on this line. There could be some stuff down here. Are you still cooking? Nope, you're done. Nothing's jumping out at me as being actually running at the moment. You're a little short on power, but not terrible. I don't know your beef. Like, what's actually... Unless you're getting power and it's going into there. If I took these out, would you be a little bit happier? Maybe? See, he's flickering like he's being used. These are all energetic cables, so they should be okay. To not lose power, that is. I don't know. I'll keep an eye on it for a few minutes. TLDR, we're hurting for power a little bit right now. But we did a lot of good stuff. Oh, I remember. The advanced chemical reactor over here, he runs on this line. So if I turned him off for a second, this should no longer be flickering. Yeah, he's only in that gain now. Makes sense. That's what it was. The advanced chemical reactor here. That's making whatever it's making. Ethanol plus sulfuric acid that thing that's the thing he's probably making ethylene probably right that's probably it yeah that's what i would think all right so theoretically once this is done processing all its stuff which it probably doesn't have too much longer to do we should be cool so here's the thing we could do hmm what do you guys think all right so you're currently producing 540 we bang that guy on there you're producing 900 and you give me two more augment slots. How cool is that? This is gonna get shenanigansy real quick. Can you make two of them? 1200 RF a tick? A might bit better than 540, right? And uh, I'm currently producing the resources to make a little bit more than that. So that's one way to ramp it up. That's one way to ramp up our power. Give me another kit or two, would you? Now, granted, granted, we're going to want to keep an eye on our lava income at this point. So we're probably burning through lava like nobody's business, right? Um, dynamos. 
you magmatic dynamo. Uh, compression, that one. So you could do coolant, right? Crushed ice. Water is 20%, but crushed ice is nice. Right? Didn't we have something that made crushed ice? The freezer. There's a freezer. Uh, and gelid cryothium, which comes from what? Fluid extractor of cryothium dust? How hard is that to make? Standardish recipe, but I don't think we're going to get into that anytime soon. But crushed ice might be actually doable. That's made in a block called the freezer, which I've been kind of looking at a little bit. Pretty quickly, too. Just turns water into crushed ice. Running that through there would be a way to improve the efficiency of our lava and probably also increase the output of our magmatics. So that might be something we might want to try. I'm just saying. How's these kits doing? Ready for another one? Booyah. Ready for another one of these? Maybe. Not quite. How's sterling silver coming? Getting there. Getting there. Machine needs more power. I'm not surprised. I'm working on it, kids. I'm working on it! Are you choking on power too? No, you're actually doing okay. So I might be able to sneak one of these guys out of here. Cool. Nice. Come on, bro. Make all the powers. Do all the things. I had to disconnect a little bit of help. So that should get these guys back up and running. I should turn off that thing until we build up some backlog, but that'll at least get our buffers back up and running, which should help in theory. So between having more power gen, which is always good, right? Are you still hurting a little bit? A little bit. Yeah. We're gonna have to wait for these buffers to fill back up at some point. That and this one back here needs to fill back up. He's getting there though. But that should at least help, right? Um, it should at least help. Because I mean, to be fair, we did boost our power gen quite a bit. Yeah, see, we're out of power on this guy already. But if I had a little bit more sterling silver, I would be cool. Or I think we have two more to make. Yeah, we should be all right. We'll let that, we'll let everything do its thing, and then we'll come back. How bad of an idea is it to turn you on again? A little bit bad. A little bit bad. He's using power, though. Okay, I'll take that. If I can get two more sterling silver, and let this guy finish up his conductive iron. We should at least be able to make another augment. Um, and that'll just speed up our production of power even more. I'll tell you what. Doubling your power production definitely helps when you're having power woes. For sure. For sure. I don't know how much we're actually producing at this point, but I'm sure it's a decent healthy amount. These things are filling up nice and quick. All my batteries across the line should be filling back up now. And that should hold us off again for a little bit longer until we get into whatever our next power production is, uh, quest-wise. Which I'm sure we'll figure out pretty soon, right? Um, distillation tower is still something I should be thinking about. And then there's lots of things here. Elemental reduction fuel, oil drilling rig. Ooh, that might be our next thing. Basic air collection, barium. I'm assuming that because this is mid-game, all these things are going to be a little bit more tricky. Um... I really want to have my early game stuff like fully automated to the best of my abilities before I jump into that. But I think we're actually there. Believe it or not, we are actually, <clears throat> in fact, pretty darn close. Like this line, while not, while not perfect, is pretty good. Honestly, it really is. It's doing, it's doing a lot uh, of, of full-blown automate all the things type stuff. So just saying. Now I need two more of you, by the way. So I need a little bit more sterling silver. I think I just need some copper dust. Oh, alas, <laughs> alas, we are out of power again. 
<laughs> That's all right. As things stabilize and everybody's buffers fill up, we should be. Oh, you know what we might be? We might be out of lava. It's all right. It'll come back. Uh, what will happen is the lava will find itself again. Like I said, we're going to burn through our lava reserves pretty quickly, but um, we can even go see. I'll demonstrate to you guys what I know to be happening. So if we pop into the nether here. By the way, there is my sulfur. Remember I said I have lots of sulfur? This is sulfur. There's also sphalerite, which is zinc, I believe. So see this guy? He rolls out in like a circle pattern around it. Right? I forget the absolute range of the ender pump. Um, ranged pumps, it doesn't really say. But it basically goes in a circle around itself, which is why, as you can see, there's that going on. So basically, A, we have a lot of lava down here. We just have to move this guy when he gets to a point that he's troublesome. But um, he's scanning different positions for lava. It sometimes takes him a minute because he's probably like run into some kind of non lava -y area. But he'll find his way there eventually. And then we'll get lava back. Cool? Not to worry. All right, so we should be getting really close to the point where we're going to find lava again. He should be coming up right about here next. This should be, is this negative 66? Eh, we're a little close. Still got another minute or two. But what we should see is this thing start to disappear, and he's going to right across there. So it looks like his range ain't that good. We might actually be getting pretty close to the end of his uh, range right now. I don't know how far he goes out. Actually, yeah, he might be okay. So there's 67. He's currently at 19. I don't so I don't know. I don't remember off the top of my head what his exact range is. There's 68. When he gets to there, he should be cool. All right? Yeah. He's right now at 68. So he's going underneath this netherrack block. But he's gonna do this. Who's shooting at me? Who's shooting at me? Look, he's doing it. There we go. So yeah, he's already pumped up the lava. He's fine. All right, so before I, uh, see, look, lava. Meet you guys back home. See, all the lavas is back. Not bad. It's gonna fill up pretty quickly once it, you know, finds its sources. Um, and then we'll probably try and move it to a little bit better position at some point. All right, so you should be cool. Everybody's happy. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. You're back up and running. Good, 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 good. Now, I thought I had grabbed a copper dust, Mr. Macerator, but maybe I hadn't. We'll get more sterling silver so I can augment that last thing. And with that, I think it's a good wrapping up point for the episode, right? So between episodes, I'll do a, a little bit of more maintenance stuff, right? Keeping the power levels up. We've got ammonia. We've got methanol. I don't know what any of this stuff is for. Uh, I'm assuming at some point I'll find out. Uh, I might proceed to make the other liquids in that quest line only because um, I'm curious where it leads. Like, does it get me something good? Oh, we'll find out. Uh, but for now, Double Toy signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, fully automated polychloride something or others. Yeah, polyvinyl chlorides, which means I can now swap these um, patterns back to being uh, the other kind. In fact, I should be able to update these dudes to be the tier three versions of the patterns, right? Because um, isn't that what I'm supposed to be doing, right? We should get the third and final crafting circuit, so refined circuit, right? Isn't that, so like this is an electronic circuit. This is the the third and final, whatchamacallit circuit? Can't I add you? Yeah, refined circuit's already up there, so that's why I can't add you. Um, so are you used for the same exact things? Yeah, you are. You are. Nice. So what I should probably do is just convert you. So it's a tin plastic circuit board. I'm going to use these guys for this recipe. Let's see how successful I am with that, right? So that shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to put you guys back in here. Just the one for now. Just the one, right? But now if I said give me a processor or a circuit... Right, that's this refined circuit, dude. You just need central processing units. So I want to teach you that real quick. So you're a cutting saw of CPU wafer. So let's do that. 
and then you glass lens with wafer, right? So I'm gonna remove you and do that, right? And I have to put the glass lens in here, wherever the this dude is. Cutting machine, so you get this one. And then you get this one, but we're gonna put the glass lens in there. I think is up, maybe not, it might be in the system. And I think these are ultimately, I thought I had that somewhere. Maybe it's over here. There it is, glass lens. These will ultimately, I think it means that this is like cheaper resource wise and more production level stuff, right? Because if you look at the ingredients for things, I think it's, it's better, faster and easier to make the tier three versions of the circuits than the tier ones, right? So these refined circuits should be craftable by now. And in fact, if I wanted to make a hundred of these guys, it's really not that much resources, right? Not that much, right? Um, fine tin alloy wire, you have to learn how to make that, but that's about it. We can do that. Fine tin alloy wire, fine tin alloy wire, you should learn is tin alloy ingots in a wire mill. Well, that's easy. We already know how to make tin alloy, right? So you're just straight up a wire mill processor, ain't you? So we can get lots more processors this way. Okay, I like this. I actually do. I think this is cool. Let's get these two upgraded too while we're at it. Um, so I should be able to get just that one circuit real quick. I know I was going to wrap up the episode here, but now I just want to knock these two quests out because... Uh, that's how Dyer's been lately. Just like, I'm having fun and want to keep doing it. So you're making the CPU wafer. Let's let's not forget, by the way, that that takes a little bit of time to craft. Not terrible, mind you, but still a little bit of time to craft. So like, let's not, let's not forget that that's a thing. Let's get ready with the other two circuits, right? Um, so you in the assembler, with tin alloy. Refined processor, the third tier two circuit, and you, the second tier three circuit. Yeah, because that's how that maps out, right. So I think, uh, by the way, did I forget to put a tin ingot on you? Probably did. Right, because that needs either a tin ingot or a soldering alloy. So let's just update that pattern. It might update because I hadn't started crafting it yet, I don't think. If not, we'll figure it out. All right, so for you, we're just going to replace with this guy. And that's going to be a tin ingot. Let's make sure it's this thing. Cool. And then this guy will replace this one. Now the problem here is he needs vibrant alloy wire. So that might be a problem, but we'll we'll think about automating that a little bit now, soonish. Did I put the tin alloy in there? I didn't. I got distracted by the vibrant alloy. But that should be doable, right? That should be doable. Okay, so how are my circuits looking? Did they get the one I asked for? Uh, so you're working on it, you just need that tin alloy to be put in there, because I missed that. Let's actually just start it over. So you should be cool, refined circuit. Crafting. And it makes four of those at a time. Did you guys see that? Four at a time? That's what's up. That is what's up. All right, let's wrap up here. I'll play around with the other two off camera and then uh, come back next episode. I want to get into oil maybe because that might also ramp up our power gen. I don't know. We'll see. For now, though, 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. See, that links these things together. Cool. All right, so refined. You should be cool now. All right. Take it easy, guys.